Today was an epic failure. came out here to do some photography, but it's uh, cold and it's raining and I mean, it'll be pretty cool. I mean, I think I'll get some really interesting shots, but you know, when you wanna go out and do something, you just gotta go out and do it. Regardless of the weather conditions, well, be mindful of the weather conditions. Cameras are expensive, so I'm a little worried. Um, this camera, the a7 III, does have weather sealing, but this lens I'm using currently does not, so I gotta be careful about that. I'm underneath a gazebo here at the lake, and a nice overcast day, which you can see. Maybe somewhat, but hope, hopefully I'll get some interesting shots and um, kind of experiment a little bit with the polarizing filter, with my ND filter to try and get some long exposures. And we'll see what I get from that. It is really cold. My hands, I've got gloves on, but my hands are freezing. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna not be out here for too long, but really kind of the takeaway is if you got an idea and you wanna create something, go out, go out and create it. That's that's what you have to do. Well, a couple of things. One, I realized that I shot the first video in 60p instead of 24p, so there's that. And it is way too cold. Oh my gosh, my fingers were freezing. I, I could not stay out there any longer. Let me see what the temperature even is. So yeah, yeah. I mean, it's only like 39 degrees, but like I'm by the lake, it's really cold. Like the wind was coming in. There's just like that cold mist. My fingers were frozen. It was gonna be fun, but it's just way too cold to be doing this. So I'm just gonna call it a day and go back home and then uh, maybe shoot some more video. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll take some photos from my car if I find any on the way. I'll take it from inside the car where it's nice and warm. So today was a little bit of a failure. I went out to get some photos and some video footage and it ended up being freezing cold. It's like 30 something degrees outside, but I'm right next to the lake and there's like some cold mist pouring in. My hands were like really frozen. And so, yeah, and you know what? I went out there, I had this idea for some content. I was gonna go out and get some footage because it was like really cloudy and there was some mist out there. And so I was wanting to get some cool footage and some photos, but it, I just couldn't bear it. My hands were just frozen and I couldn't stay out there too long. I just snapped some photos and I was like, I can't do this, I'm gone. Um, and I was also kind of afraid of my equipment. I got this Sony a7 III, which does have weather sealing, but 
I only have a, I have a 16 to 35 that has weather sealing in it as well, but I'm just really, really cautious because I mean, it's an expensive camera, it's expensive gear, and I don't want to ruin it. So I ended up just packing it all up and came back home. So really the message here is if you got an idea, just go out, try it out. Who knows, it might turn out awesome, it may not, but it's gonna give you some content. It's gonna get you creating. Creating content is all about that muscle. And by consistently creating content, getting out of your comfort zone is really going to help you get confident in your ability to create content. Whether you're using a camera, or using a phone, uh, GoPro, whatever you have, creating content consistently is gonna be really important. And the more you get in front of the camera and you're talking about what you know about, the more confident you're gonna be, the better you're gonna deliver your message. Um, and you know what? Over time, your content's gonna get better and get better. And so you gotta have that patience of knowing that one day your content is going to be really good. What you have in your mind, what you're visualizing your content to be like, you will get there at one time. And then when you get there, you're gonna have this new vision of what your content should look like. And so just be okay with the journey of creating content with what you have. You don't need fancy equipment, you don't need expensive gear, you just need to be creating content on a consistent basis. So as for me, today I've got some other content I gotta be working on, I've got some audio I've gotta edit, I got some video to edit. I've gotta create this, this week's version of uh, the 12 week content creation challenge, figure out what that subject matter is gonna be. And yeah, I wanna know what you're working on this week. Drop a comment, drop a like if you like it, dislike it if you don't like this video, that's fine too. But I just want you to know that I want you to be creating content on a consistent basis. That's all, that's my message to you today is just create something today, put it out there, post it, it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, it's, um, it's sleeting outside right now. That's what I have to put up with. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, you know, I'm glad I got back uh, inside in time to not have to deal with that. Cool. That's been my day. So when I talk about how you don't need fancy equipment, this is what I mean. These are the lights that I'm using to light up um, myself. And what I do to make a diffuser is I use a white t-shirt. Let me lock this down real quick. And so I just put a t-shirt over it. And there you have it. A cheap diffuser for your lights. These are uh, 5,000 Kelvin bulbs. And then I've got this white board as like a reflector. But that's all. That's all I have, that's all I use. So yeah, don't think that you need really expensive lighting equipment when you're starting out. 
that's what I'm using. I'm getting pretty okay results with it. I mean, really, the concept is the exact same. The t-shirt acts as a diffuser, so it's just not harsh light hitting me. And the 5,000 Kelvin bulbs, they're daylight bulbs. Um, so it's gonna give a nice, just cool tone. And that's it. I mean, I'm using a reflector that's just a white, uh, I don't know, cork board or, or whatever that's called um, as, as a reflector there. And so, yeah, I don't know how much I spent on that. Maybe like 30 bucks at total. And that's what I'm using right now. One day, yes, I will probably buy better lighting equipment because lighting is essential to video. You want a good source of light. Because right now I'm running ISO or ISO 800, and I wish I could be using ISO 200 with my Cine 4 profile, but you know what, 800, 200, it's gonna look okay. I've got plenty of light coming from that. I also turn the lights off in the room, so it's just that light coming in. Um, so that way it gets some dynamic range as well. So I'm lit up, the background's kind of out. In some videos you'll see in the background they have um, usually like blue and teal, or blue and teal, teal and orange lights. It's a very popular thing. I'm not really into that. It does look cool. I'm not gonna go out and buy teal and orange lights to put in the background. It's just not worth it to me right now. But this is what I'm talking about. Just create content with the equipment that you have. But I'm gonna enjoy my hot spice chai. Um, get do some editing and get on with my day. And I hope you have an awesome one.